Hi everybody, it's Marty. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, so we are going to be doing a restorative pose today. A restorative yoga pose. I did a poll this morning on my community tab, so um, the votes were in. And this week, you guys asked for a restorative pose, which is great because it also involves meditation. Those were the two um, choices, guided meditation, just that, or a restorative pose. So we're going to do a restorative pose. And before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Just touch my little face down there. That would be really great. It would help me out. And turn on that notification bell, and then you'll know when I do do an upload, when I do a live, and also when I uh, post something on the community tab so that you can get in on um, you know, the poll for what we'll do on Thursday nights. And also, if there's any information about the channel for our community uh, on my channel, everybody that subscribes gets, um, gets those posts. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're gonna do the crocodile pose. And this pose is a downward facing relaxing pose. Um, and it helps relieve uh, upper and lower back tension and it creates chest and lung expansion which is great for if you're a shallow breather because you're getting you're working on getting a bigger breath capacity and it also enhances breathing into the back of the body because a lot of us don't realize that we're cheating ourselves where you know most of us just breathe up here and then we learn to breathe down into our diaphragm and then up there. And then we realize that we can actually expand the rib cage more and the back. You know when you see a little baby and they're lying on their back and you see their tummy going up and down, their, their belly going up and down. That's how you should breathe, right? And their whole, their whole um, little torso is just expanding as their tummy is going up and down because it's so supple. The the uh, lung and stuff like that. So we can reclaim that by people exercise or, you know, the cardio and, you know, do all this yoga stuff and whatnot. But if we're not doing the, the preliminary yoga stuff, like the breath work and doing these restorative poses to help us connect with those parts of our body that need to expand so we can get those big breaths, then, um, why even do exercise? Why do yoga? We're just breathing up in here and it's very, it's not good. We're keeping all that carbon dioxide in. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the crocodile pose. This is a great pose for relieving upper and lower back tension, uh, chest and lung expansion, and enhanced breathing in the back of the body. Okay, so what you do is you just find a nice piece of floor don't do this on the bed um, because you want to be supported in this. And I'll just show you. And it's as simple as this. It's as simple as just dropping down, face down on the ground and put your hands, stack them on top of each other like this. Stack them on top of each other like this. Good. And then place your forehead down onto your hands like this. So you have the breath running, right? You get comfortable. If you feel like you need to move one of your legs or whatnot, you can. Otherwise, just have them flat down like that. And this is called the crocodile pose. And just let yourself spread out over that whole area. Take as much and that floor as possible, good. And then we just start to breathe from here. As we breathe in, we fill up that back door and we start to feel the back expansion happen. And exhale, try to breathe out and in through the nostril tips, only through the nostril tips. So breathing in and out. So out. Feel yourself collapsing into the floor. And then inhale, 
putting myself up three lines up exhale come down inhale coming up exhale coming down beautiful now notice how you are expanding your back with that breath notice how it has to go into the sides of your chest how the back opens up see i even felt a little spasm in there as it's starting to open up Inhale for four. Exhale for four, two, three, four. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. Exhale, release. Let that lower back and upper back, mid back relax. I can feel kind of like a Charlie horse underneath my left underneath my left shoulder blade there trying to open up so just breathe into any part of that body and play with it like notice how you can send that breath down and it can open up that lower back that mid back that upper back you feel it rise oh i really feel it in that upper back exhale let it come down it's beautiful Extending that rib cage in the back as you inhale. And exhale, come down. Let it exhale, come down. Beautiful. Inhale. Do that. And exhale, come down. Let's do a count of four again. One, two, three, and four. That's the perfect come out and then you inhale come up exhale for four and two and three and four and then inhale for four and exhale for four and two and three and four inhale for four exhale for four And just breathe normally in this position. And if you feel like you need to shift your shift yourself if you want a little bit of a neck stretch, you can go from one side like that, put your cheek on your hand for a few minutes like that. And then gently put your neck the other way. It's a nice stretch in the neck. Breathe in and out. Make that chest expand. Exhale. Shift the other way. Let that chest expand. Exhale. And then back to center again. Play with it so it's in a nice spot where your head can drop on it. It's nice and supported. Your forehead on your hand. It's beautiful. And just let yourself breathe. Keep yourself in that position. I'm going to come up and finish this meditation with you. At any time, if you feel that you want to come out of that position, from there, just roll over on your side like this. Sideline Shavasana, and you can finish the meditation like this. So continue just to let yourself focus on your breath. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. Closing your 
eyes, unless you're anxious and you need to keep them open a little bit. And just feel yourself if you're still in crocodile pose, that's great. That was such a powerful opening in the back for me. I had to come out of it because I was feeling a little spasm in my upper back. But it helped open it up because I've been driving all day. So be your own yogi or yogini. And as you're breathing into that back and relaxing it, and lower back and upper back, notice if there's any part that needs that little extra help and you can help massage it through that breath as you breathe into the back, laying in crocodile pose. Or like me, like in sideline Shavasana, taking note of that part of my body that kind of spasmed as I was opening it up. So I'm allowing myself to open it up sideways in the sideline Shavasana. Beautiful. And hopefully you've got a blanket around you. you can throw that on top of you. If you're in sideline shavasana and you're cold. And see my upper back felt it. So just even having a blanket over top of it promotes that sense of healing space to allow it. So breathing in and out. Beautiful. Allowing yourself to melt into the floor. Just notice the shape of your body lying on the floor and how you can instantly just outline how your body is lying on the floor. As you breathe in and out. As you exhale, noticing how you can just surrender to the earth and notice how it's pulling out anything that doesn't serve you well anymore. So, blessing, releasing it, feeling it being pulled out of you from the earth. Beautiful. Breathing in more spaciousness with that breath going into that chest and back, expanding the back, nourishing you and as you exhale anything that gets dislodged, you exhale it leaves you through your nostril tips or pulls out of you into the ground and away from you, beautiful, so continue to do that. Surrendering as you exhale. Breathing in space and love and light on the inhale. Noticing any storylines of the day just being dissolved in that mind's eye. That little circus that we're watching just dissolves as we breathe into it. As we exhale, we can let go and create space and allow ourselves to look, see, feel things with less of a grip or less aversion pushing it away. Just seeing it as it is, no permanent transitory. Surrendering to that, surrendering to that great wisdom you're cultivating. Knowing that at any time you can just go into this relaxed space and breathe. Mm, learning how to breathe fully, beautiful. A couple more times in the sending it into that 
back of the lung as you breathe in. Mm. Oh, that feels so good. One more time. Exhale, beautiful. So if you want to just rest like this, go right ahead. Otherwise, if you're in crocodile pose that way, I suggest that you do what I did, go into sideline shavasana first, bring your knees in, and then gently walk yourself up with your hands, head coming up last. Beautiful. I always like to do a child's pose, get myself a nice extension in the back, and then come up vertebra by vertebra, like you're stacking Lego, one on top of the other, until your head plops up last, and then roll the shoulders back, palms up, beautiful, okay, let's end together. Thanks for hanging out with me today in the Yoga Shack. Taking a breath, deep breath in, exhale. Sitting up nice and straight or in your sideline Shavasana, just lay there. And we're gonna chant Om three times. Breathe in. Be happy and be free from suffering.